Rosen Strike getting it done in the by main a, event. A fourth round dock tour stop hodge. Fourth round docking. Fourth round dockage. It was so ridiculous. <clears throat> yeah. Basically, Geziev tapped out to being too tired, mm. which doesn't surprise me because he's a big fat man. That is the problem with some of these heavyweights. They um. They are a little bit larger, I find, than maybe the flyweight division, if you like. Just and they to weigh put them a bit side more, by I think. side. Yeah, they mm, yeah, usually I think they do. In mo- in most cases. Sometimes. But I mean, I mean Kai France cuts a lot of weight to get yeah, down I think to he cuts from flyweight. like three hundred. Yeah. yeah, he cuts from three, He halves. He's two sixty. <laughs> over halves. Yeah. Yeah, Kai Kara France is just uh Bradley Martin in disguise mm-hmm. with the Kiwi accent. But <clears throat> look, Biggie Boy. Rosenstroke, he isn't the fittest spring chicken ever in the no. world, you know? His gas tank was uh, was in question before this fight. It is. It was. And um, I was a bit frustrated by his performance, if I'm completely honest. Rosenstrikes. Yeah. I think he could have won it easier. Like, Gaziev really didn't have much for him. He wasn't throwing takedowns in there. He was barely landing on him. Like, Rosenstrike kind of could do whatever he wanted. And he didn't. What he- kind of background does Rosenstrike come from? Is it better than a volleyball background? What? That's apparently, I was watching a Lucas Tracy breakdown oh, of the event today. I like Lucas Tracy. And he was saying Gaziev used to be in the Bahrain national volley t- volleyball team. Well, that's something I didn't know. Um, he doesn't yeah. look like it. He doesn't look like a beach boy. No, he doesn't. Doesn't really. For, for you guys who don't, don't know what Gaziev looks like, here he is. He's quite. He's kind of. I won't of, say unfortunate looking, but he's quite unfortunate. He's missing looking. the blonde hair. We'll just say that. Can we put in volleyball after that, please? I want to see if this is a thing. Look, yeah, Lucas, Lucas Tracy is is funny. I, I feel like he's actually going insane, like more insane by the day. Really? Yeah. You watch his videos, and he's just like slowly getting more like I don't know. There's moments in them. I'm going to be honest, it was probably one of the first videos of his I've watched. Yeah. Um, and I only watched it because, like I said at the start of this video, I didn't watch the card yesterday. And I felt like I needed to get caught up. This guy. Um, There's no doesn't... pictures of him playing volleyball, I which I'm very trolled. disappointed about. No, I, think I would never get trolled. trolled. I wouldn't get trolled. Oh, no, there you go. Boom. He's on the Dagestan volleyball team. One day after a game, I met legendary coach Khabib's dad. He invited me to his MMA class. Abdul Manup. Um, well, you're not very good, mate. At I mean, either, I, how he probably. was 12 and I'm what? coming into this, I really don't get. I he mean, said she was 12. He said she was 12 and 0. <laughs> but he obviously wasn't. <laughs> um, Kepin. I think he's Kepin. Like, this is bullshit. I mean, again, he hasn't fought the best opponents of all time. To be fair, going straight in there against Rosenstrike on your second UFC appearance, that's a pretty big deal. You know, it is. like we said, Rosenstrike has been there in six main events now, which is more than any champion apart from John Bones Jones. Yep. So he has been there with yeah. some of the best. I think so this far. was a, a ridiculous matchup. And why was it main event of a fight night? Why why do they give weird like preferential treatment to, to certain fighters to like keep giving them main events over and oh. over again? Like what has Yar ja- Huh? Jarzinho Rosenstrike done to deserve a main event? And the other thing too, like He's coming off a loss. He's coming In off the a loss. Fight that he fucking main evented. Jesus Christ. Why? Um, I don't know. He has... Yeah. No, it's not... It's, 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 it's a weird one, isn't it? I mean, maybe he pulls decent numbers. Who knows? But it's... Again, it's a fight night, so it's not even... It's not even pay-per-view. I don't know what I'm saying yeah. here. So like, it's a bit- well, maybe, maybe it's because he's experienced in fight night, in, in main eventing, and they're like, you know what? We want to fill basically every weekend with cards. Who can we call on? Who's going to main event? Consistently, he's going to show up. It's going to be fine. He's no going to make weapons. weight. He's going to make weight. You know? There's a, bit of a, there's a little bit of a joke there. Cause I got that. Yeah, thanks. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of annoying. 
Who Who's it? he going to main event against next? Maybe that's what we should look at. So what I want is a main event with uh, Biggie Boy. He, but the thing is, he didn't show anything to like to show. No, he should be on a main event again. Well, he's got to be. He kind of has to be at this point. Let's have a look at the rankings. Because, yep. I mean... The I rankings. Think, I believe he is in the top 10 currently. Yes. He is. He's number 12. Well, that's not the top 10. Uh, top 15. Sorry. Oh, there you go. No, there, no, you're right. Yep. Um, so he, has, he is coming off a win now. Maybe Delima would be a good fight. Because Delima just uh, obviously beat... Um, who did he beat? What's his name? I don't Thingy's know. his brother. Junior Tuffer. Oh, he just beat Junior. Yeah, junior that's tougher. true. And he did it quite convincingly did as well. Easily. Let's let's just say how it is. Um, Delima. Yep. Or he could fight the the loser of Tui Vasa versus Tobura. Yeah, that, that could be all right. Derek Lewis needs a fight. I don't think they've fought before. Have they not? I don't think they have. My God, that'd be the most confusing fight to watch ever. Are you trying to say they they look very similar? They look very similar. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, they do. I'm not even being, you know. On the nose about it. They well, do. They do. Uh, Derek Lewis really hasn't been doing all that well. No. Uh, as of late. And no, he, so he hasn't fought against um, Biggie Boy before. And I'm thinking that Derek mm. Lewis probably needs a comeback fight after his, his hiatus. He is 39. Mm. Just turned 39. He's probably only got a couple fights left. And, you know, Jorginho, one of them is going to go to sleep. So. Yeah, I think so. And I think it's going to be Biggie Boy. I don't think Lewis Derek, is, is losing. Derek brings the most exciting fighter out of everyone he's fighting, unless it's a grappler. Yeah, he does. Or unless it's Francis Ngannou, or unless it's Cyril Gunn. Yeah, I take back what I just said. Yeah. That sometimes... Sometimes it's a fun fight yeah. when he fights. And often, it's often. Let's yeah. be real. It's most times. The fight between him and Tai Tuivasa, that was a fun one. There was a fun 55 seconds between him and Sergei Pavlovich. There was. He clipped Sergei kind of, didn't he? Was I can't remember exactly what happened there. Uh, Yeah, I believe he did. He did. But it was after he was clipped as well, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. And then he went down bad. Yeah, down bad. Um, Well, <clears throat> no, I think that's a good idea. Um, Anyone else? I mean... Okay, Kobe. Look at the, the, the top... Oh, is this all time or some shit? What the hell is this? This is... Tom Espinal on this list is ranked above Jones. Okay. suppose he does have more wins at heavyweight. That's true. Um, But yeah, just, just sorry guys, I'm just looking at like a B-Tech list of fucking top fighters. Uh, Derek, B-Tech. Derek, there he is, number 11. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think... I think um, Rosenstrike and Derek Lewis would be a good fight. Why is Francis Ngannou ranked 12? Okay, this is bullshit. Take it back. Um, Finally. What about, what about the other lad? Top dog. Gaziev. Who's he fighting? Uh, he can fight. Why did you just say top dog? Isn't that what the website's called? <laughs> Topology. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> uh, top dog. Topdog.com. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, look, Gaziev's ranked 20. He's got to be fighting down after that terrible performance. Tougher. Yeah, Tougher would be good. Feed him to Tougher. I think Tougher will probably knock him out because I really don't think this guy's that good. And I don't know why he got a fight against fucking Rosenstrike. And then he lost to the fifth round. And the other thing good about Gaziev is he didn't seem to mix in too many leg, uh, leg kicks or low kicks no, at, at all in general. So. Tougher would be a, a good a good little match. That would be him. Junior Tougher, though, right? Yeah, that, that's what I was meaning. Oh, Junior Tougher, not Justin. Okay. Let's see how it is. All right. Well, there we go. That's that done. Um, Going in for another one. All right. Have fun, mate. I've, I've, oh, well, I've nuked all my milk. So I've seen that. I love milk. I need to catch up. So do I. I, I drink a lot of it. It is great. It is the best. It's uh, not bad. Other than that, you know, you've got Alexander King Kong Romanov. Alexander Volkanovsky. Stipe. <laughs> How about um, Gaziev against 15th ranked Stipe Miocic? That sounds about right. Uh, Stipe Miocic, who's ranked below Delima. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. He hasn't really been that active lately, oh, no, has he? He really hasn't. Uh, he but really do you know what? Really Let's good. give him a title shot. Yeah. Let's give him a title shot against John Jones. 
Uh, moving because, down the card, what were you going to say there, Jackson? Sorry, I because off. ten years ago, you know, Steve Bate was pretty good. Yeah, so let's give, give him, him to John Jones, who currently is very good and hasn't fought since a long time ago either. And let's just watch murder unfold inside the octagon. Well, John Jones is looking tub. He's looking tubs in all the videos. He's not looking good. Saying that though, John cocaine DC addicts normally. Cormier. Maintain quite a slim physique, don't they? So that's a good sign. That's a good sign. In, uh, At least off, he might be off the, the gear. Um, off the coke, no joke. John B Biggie Boy Jones. That's what <laughs> the thing they call it.